and what an exciting conference this is. And uh, you know, DXC is an interesting company. It has a legacy going well over 60 years. You know, back in the day when it was EDS and, and HPES and CSC coming all together in 2017 to become DXC technology, we are across 70 plus countries. We have over 130,000 employees. Uh, we're just, uh, we love the manufacturing uh, industry and uh, really excited to be here. The private 4G LTE and 5G networks, the Nokia Digital Automation Cloud, is such a phenomenal piece of technology for our clients across the globe in really every sector. Um, we love how Nokia approaches this marketplace and we think that the product that Nokia provides to the market is vastly superior in a lot of ways to a lot of other technologies out there. A lot of people don't really understand how involved Nokia has been in, in this sort of technology for so many years and has so many patents and really provides the industry currently with a lot of the, the networking capabilities, right? So even in the public carriers, uh, Nokia is right there with them delivering absolute excellence. When it comes to a focus for us, we're, we're really cutting horizontally across every sector. We do believe that private cellular is one of the most powerful enablers of digital transformation at scale for our partners. And we don't think that there is an industry that is more or best suited for this type of technology. I think as the, as the industry of, of uh, private cellular networks matures, the use cases will change, but when we think about our, our sort of lowest hanging fruit, a lot of our manufacturing partners that have very large, chaotic facilities with lots of material where they need to create these amazing connected bubbles, it's just really difficult to do with traditional connectivity. And so um, we're working through a lot of different industries. Uh, oil and gas is a really... Um, perfect use case for this technology. If you want to, um, you know, all the way from upstream when you're removing minerals from the ground um, and the complexity around some of those environments and really needing connectivity out in the field, just an absolute perfect use case for this. And then as you go into midstream, you know, being able to um, connect the tissue from one end to the other or as it starts to enter into a refining process downstream, being able to have connectivity through that entire value chain is so vital to the ability to do something meaningful with data at scale. Well, let's take, for example, manufacturing. In the manufacturing industry, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people don't realize, uh, at least our partners, I think they're surprised to know that they can employ this technology indoors, right? You always think of it as an outdoor technology and oh my gosh, Wi-Fi is indoor and cellular is outdoor, but in fact, the power of this network allows us to do some really meaningful things inside environments that have a lot of data requirements. So if you think about manufacturing in you know, a smaller environment, high, high fidelity manufacturing, um, something like 5G is going to be incredible because the low latency, the security, the ability to move data and, in real time and really create unprecedented connectivity for you know, all the devices and IoT devices that are coming online that help the manufacturing process. But beyond those sort of smaller environments in like a, a factory floor with a bunch of robots, right? When we think about these facilities and we think about how they uh, have the environments outside the manufacturing facility and all the logistics coming into that environment, absolutely premier use case for the ability for us to capture data all the way outside of the manufacturing facility and then bring that in through that connectivity. Sometimes in manufacturing, it's not always isolated to a, a really tight environment inside a warehouse. Sometimes manufacturing is raw and it's outside. When you think about really large industrial, big metal manufacturing plants, right? It's very difficult to be able to find a way to get connectivity to the worker. Um, we have a couple of clients in that heavy industrial manufacturing facilities that um, had some problems where when they were building these big metal containers, 
their workers weren't able to do any of the digital checklists that they had built because there was just really no penetration for that technology. And we went in uh, very quickly and was able to set up a demo to de demonstrate how, how powerful this technology is. And the very first use case we did is go into that metal container with our device and show them that they had full serviceability of all of their technology inside that environment. And it was absolutely a no-brainer for them to say, we have to invest in this technology to meet, to, to meet our needs as we grow as a digitally transformed company. DXC and Nokia together are providing the marketplace with best-in-class technology and connectivity through the hardware that Nokia builds. And with the managed services business that we have done so well for over 60 years, um, we're able to end-to-end -to -end deliver networking and manage those services long-term for any partner globally anywhere. And honestly, it's a, it's a very exciting time. This technology is going to be so transformative for everything from manufacturing all the way down to consumer needs. And there's a bunch of advancements coming down the pike that we're really excited to see come uh, to fruition.